Okay, this is a video that's gonna overview all of the cubby mount products offered by Acro. Uh, first one we got in there is the cubby bank. So, the way I make these guys is this is the ground plane and that allows me to put that recess pin on there. And I initially started off bridging this back plate, but I later decided to do that. And that makes it, you know, super rigid, prints well, um, cleaner finish. And yeah, the uh, if you were to buy this, this is what you're gonna you're gonna get. You'll get the uh, the cubby bank, black plate, um, the XLT orange, and then the lariat brown, all as one kit. And I'm doing it like that because I need to be able to speed this shipping process up. And if I can just package this up as one complete unit, and then once I get an order, out the door it goes. It's kind of getting away from the whole custom thing, but still it includes everything that you're gonna want, just a little excess. And I put a lot of thought into this. I am gonna kind of change how I sell these. So I'm gonna lower the prices, which is good, but I'm not going to include the phone mounts or fits connectors. So like for this one, this guy will be purchased in addition to this unit and that eliminates you know not everyone's going to want the phone mount so it's no use wasting for the people that don't and then that'll allow me to lower the prices here and then sell these in addition and essentially not you know change anything just eliminate waste so this is how it pops in you know, in the cubby and then you'll hear a little click from that retention thing it's in there really good especially for up and down forces trying to disturb it. To get it out, you would pull straight out and works very similar to a drawer. So let's put the uh, XLT orange one in there. It slides in. And there you go. And yeah, that slot will, uh, I actually had this question. Um, it'll take most forms of currency, all US and all Canadian. Top to bottom, I believe is um, 28 millimeters, left to right is 3.5. So, should fit everything. And then with the phone mount, this guy, um, it works really good relative to vent clip style phone mounts it works almost as good as the fits ball joint style phone mounts so the way these go in is you just find the edge there and then the three pieces are gonna kind of the geometry of them kind of locks it into the back and then if it's not too tight you can tighten down that set screw and then as far as phone mountings this one's a iPhone XR. So that's how that would look. And then it's got new phones. This is the 13 Pro Max. And it looks like that. Now you can put this on Cubby Bank. There's three different mounting positions. So the bottom one, like that. And then the middle one, yeah, it's, you get it. It's kind of hard to find that edge, but once you get it in there, you can lock it and it's good to go. I would probably put it in this one. I'm not even close. There we go. And that's how it would look. Okay, so next up, let's show cubby mount with fits so same idea here if you were to purchase this this is what you would receive so you have the cubby mount with fits and then the color backdrop of whatever ford maverick you have and then these guys will be for sale in addition to it so we have the one inch ball straight up one inch ball at an angle I can't find the other ones. 
Oh, this one's cool. This one, like, make your own fits. So you would trim that around whatever you want to stick there, and that just kind of pops out, and you can glue it into place. The uh, If you wanted the recess ball joint, the, uh, you know, the hole rather than the ball, then this is what you would use. And, yeah, so basically this makes it so you pick what you want, and purchase that instead of me trying to figure out what's the best one to include. And I'll be able to lower the prices, which will be really good. So this is the same way. Um, same exact design, just different in the uh, fit slot area. So there's a spring and a nut behind this pole tab that gives it retention. So that when you have it in, kind of losing light here. And you put your fit slot in. Then when you go to pull the device out, right, you don't... I guess I did. It shouldn't have happened. Oh, uh, it wasn't locked in there. Okay. These ones use a lighter spring than cubby mount because I don't want you to pull the spring and pull the thing out. So... Yeah, that's cubby bank with fits. And then um, next I'll show Kobe mount, which is the kind of the original design that I came up with. And this one, same thing. This one's actually going to get quite a bit lower because I, I go by how long it takes to print, how much labor is involved after the post-processing, and then obviously how much the materials cost. So that's how I come up with my prices. And I, I did this thing where I uploaded like... I'm trying to be very transparent with how I do this. So I uploaded how much everything costs, where I source it and everything. It's going to be the last picture on my Etsy page if you wanted to check that out. We have this one and Cubby Mount Lite. I have Cubby Mount Lite already installed. Can accept the uh, USB modules, which is going to be the same way. You're not going to see that option on the page anymore, but I'll have a, a product page for this kit. And I'm going to do it like that. So without the USB module, this would be cubby light, cubby mount light. And then cubby mount and cubby mount light really lock in there well. Um, once it's in, like, there's no movement. There's no rattle. You know, you can pull on that and it's going to break with the plastic, so... Another note is do not take this off. Well, I recommend you do not take this off because this holds in by tiny little retention clips that when you pull them out the wrong way, which I did, I kind of messed that one up a little bit, but it's still okay. It could break those little retention clips and you know, then you have squeaky plastic for the rest of your truck's life. So don't remove that. That's my recommendation. Um... To remove these, the pull you pull the pull tab up and then out, and they should release. It's not the easiest to do it, and that's by design, because I think it's more important to have it lock in there well than have these remove easily, because I don't think these are going to be removed. They're not designed to be removed as often as the cubby bank design. So it's kind of a once they're in, they're in design, but you obviously can remove them. And then with the, uh, if you wanted the USB stuff, you would cut this out and that pops right in and snaps, snaps fit into place. So yeah, this one, um, same thing. If you wanted the phone mount with this, um, the price of this is going to get lowered. These are going to be purchased outside of the sale of this and then these it's the same way as cubby bank same geometry so everything kind of works in unison there and then on this one there's two locations that you can mount to and i'll give you a look of what that looks like with iphone xr and iPhone 13 Pro Max. And they're in there well. Um, little wiggle, but 
Like it feels very solid. And then last but not least, let's put It makes it very easy to remove if you push down right here. And that's only done with two hands. That's why I had to put the camera down. And then here's, this is actually cubby mount with the XLT body. And I'm gonna do this because it gives a little XLT orange trim without having that knob orange. And the knob being orange just looked like, kind of like Rudolph's nose to me. I didn't like it. So let's put that one in, kind of in the video here. If you wanted to use normal fits accessories, like I did that, designed this one to be normal, you would remove the pull tab just by screwing it out. And then they would just pop in like normal stuff okay that's it um everything's available on etsy it's acro hd.etsy.com i'm really trying to move my sales over to acro designs.com just because you know etsy's done a lot to help my business but it's kind of like pension pennies at this point the main thing is if i don't i'm sure you don't want to know this but I'm kind of rambling here if they advertise your listing and it gets sold, I have to pay the Etsy fees, which total to about 8%, and then an additional 15%, which do the math, that's 23% off of the gross, which is not counting materials, shipping, labor, anything. So kind of ridiculous. So yeah, acrodesigns.com is hopefully where I'll uh, end up, and then maybe you'll see me on Amazon pretty soon. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you like all the uh, Cubby Mount products. Um, I got a lot of exciting stuff coming. Doing two products for the bed. And I'm bringing back the dividers, hopefully by end of next week. So thanks for all the support.